What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're going to be doing a breakdown. So a few people have asked me to do this. So I've already done a trailer breakdown. We talked about a couple of new things coming in. So that is the trailer breakdown here. I've done a full review of that, full breakdown of that and a full dissection of that, I suppose, uh, where we talk about the new stuff that's coming, that's here and that will be uh, potentially a bit of a change to the gameplay, a bit of a change to the meta. We focused on everything. But just to give a quick glance over everything, for those of you guys um, that aren't able to log in and see exactly what is here, I promise that I would do a proper run through. We'll keep it short and sweet and we'll go through everything, okay? So we're going to start from left to right and we're going to get into a couple of gameplay changes that they've made and a full breakdown of everything, right? So firstly, we do have an event, okay? An authentic event. So the Champions League, the AFC Champions League is back. That means that Neymar is back that means that Cristiano is back as well. They were both in the trailer. So this is a new challenge event. As you can see here, we get a chance deal for two AFC Champions League players, as well as a couple of other bits and pieces that you get for just playing in this. So you can play any of the teams here that you see. Players from any of these teams. You can see Ronaldo's team is there. And of course, Neymar's team is here as well as a couple of others. They're all updated. They've got their kits, everything like that. And as you can see here for the rewards, you're getting chance deals, chance deals, and more chance deals, chance deals, and chance deals. So you're going to get a, a potential 10 AFC Champions League players from there, from that selection there, which is quite nice, obviously, just to kind of bring that back. Friend match and trial match, no real changes to that. And then on to Dream Team. So the eFootball League is still ongoing. That phase is running until the 20th of October. As you are the 26th of October, that has been pushed on a little bit as well. And that phase will end there and then the new phase will begin. This is phase one. So you can continue your progress up to the divisions there. Quick match, friend match, still the same, right? Obviously, when you play an online quick match now or a friend match, um, it is a little bit limited. So, you know, so, I mean, that is something that they need to add. But then on for the events here, we've got the Brazilian clubs versus the AI. We've got AFC Champions League against users. We've got the victory run that is still ongoing as well. As you see there, it's a challenge event against the AI. You've got the worldwide clubs versus the AI. You've got unlimited versus user matches. And that kind of rounds it off, right? So you get another chance deal there. That's your free player of the week with that one is the main reward. Skill trainers. You also get skill trainers there. You're going to get skill trainers there. And then this one is going to be your skill trainers and your coins. So listen, that needs big work, right? That needs big work. If you're a newcomer, you'll probably think there's a lot of content there, but play it for maybe four or five hours and you'll see that there isn't that much there, right? We also have an AFC Champions League login campaign. So you're going to get a special login bonus of 100 coins, 360,000 GP, simply for logging into the game. And then the campaign objectives, the teamed objectives, and the challenge event is going to get you potentially, right? You're going to get 18 AFC Champions League players. You're going to get 40,000 trainers, and you're also going to get contracts, you're also going to get uh, skill trainers, and you're going to get uh, 220,000 GP from the campaign objectives with 100 more coins in the team event there, right? Moving on from that, just on the banners here, we do have the power packs, right? So these six are here right now, okay, the packs. And when you click onto this, it's going to bring you to the packs here. As you see, you've got Barcelona, you've got Manchester United, and they will be adding more, right? They will be adding more player packs and manager packs, right? So the big one on this is, I've already done a video on it, a specific video on these. Basically, you pay 1,500 coins for any of these. You get a legendary manager that's going to give a boost to a, a, player, a player stat. So for example, with Xavi, you buy Xavi for 1,500 coins. You get Xavi, who gives an increase to the ball control stat of all the players on the team. And it includes 11 players that are highlighted here as well. And it's the same for Manchester United, same for Arsenal. I've done a full video on that, so I won't waste your time with that one. And then on to the rest of the player packs here. We do have reviews coming on all of these. You've got your worldwide event. You've got another partner club if you haven't opened that. You've got the Brazilian agent here. You've got these that will be refreshed on the Monday. So the epics and the showtimes are now refreshed on Monday. You also have new players here that you can get on nominating contracts. So Bellingham is there, um, which is quite nice. We also have the Sassy there. Uh, Ansu Fati is there. And they're all updated with their new clubs and all that, right? So that's kind of the packs, okay? Um, also on top of that, we do have um, a new section here, which is just the packs, which I just talked about, and the managers here as well. Some of the managers have been changed, their prices and stuff like that. Some of them have been changed, um, and some more will come. Now, whether we can update those legendary managers will be something that we need to look at, right? 
The rest of the stuff here that we have, um, you get a new special login present of 5,000 eFootball points. Literally, all you have to do is go onto the website. I will do a little video on that if you're struggling with it. But we also, more importantly, get reductions on contracts both across the board. We'll go into the shop here in a second, right? We've got a new match pass. I'm going through this very quickly, lads. Um, we've got Count Dooku, as I call him, and we also have Zakaria. This guy looks like an absolute weapon of a beast. He's an anchorman. He's got one-touch pass. He's got everything that you could possibly want in a DMF. Blocker, interception, man marking, fighting spirit. Incredible, incredible player. One of the hidden gems that I had on my DMF video as it was. And this guy looks insane with 34 levels. And, of course, we've got Doku there as well, or Doku, um, who's on A rating this week. Scored again the other day. Fantastic player. One of my favorite players to use, but he is a bit low rated, um, you know, to use him and be meta or whatever. But he's got 32 levels. He's going to be a bit of a beast as well. Um, so two very, very strong players. And of course, you do have your free five star at 15 matches as well to be able to get Bellingham or Fatty or Chukwesi or anybody that you want there. OK, so that match pass has been reset. New objectives. That's kind of self-explanatory. It's just new objectives there. If you haven't passed the Neymar one, um, you can do that. And then, of course, in the shop, right? So we do have in the eFootball Point shop now, we've got new players, right? So we've got the Beto who joins the club for 5,000 eFootball Points if you so choose to get him, right? So it's not the best player, I'll be honest with you. It's not a game-changing player, but it is nice to see. And then we also have the reduction on these. Now, I would advise everyone get one of these 60-day contracts because they're really, really nice um, to have for 5,000. This was 25,000 eFootball points before. If you've got a lot of trainers or a lot of contracts that you need, um, this is a really nice one to have for one of your most important players in the game, right? And then you've got the reduction on the rest of these as well, where you can buy, you know, another 60-day contract is usually, as you said there, it's usually 25,000, and these XP are usually 5,000, so they are reduced by a fifth, or by, they're only um, a fifth of the price, I should say, Right? Moving on from that, that's kind of everything really there that we can kind of talk about just to give a quick run through of these. Uh, obviously, we're going to have more stuff being added across uh, the campaign and across the board. You've got all the players there. I will do all training guides on them, but I'm going to go over here to the actual web browser where we see here and talk about some of the changes that have come with season two, which they're calling e Elevate the Excitement, okay? So they talk about a couple of gameplay changes. We're going to have a, just a quick run through of these they say that all of these, right, I'm not even going to focus on these. These are just additions to the squad and new teams like Ronaldo's in there, Neymar's in there with the kits and all that sort of stuff, right? This is what we want, lads. Gameplay fixes and adjustments, okay? So very quickly going through this. Passing and goalkeeper issues have been fixed, so they say, okay? Um, our emphasis on this update was correcting and adjusting areas of the game where certain situations could lead to unconvincing or unintended behaviours. I had seen that creep in. Now, we will be streaming, lads, today and tomorrow, hopefully. And we're going to be looking at a lot of those stuff because I had seen some stuff creep in from launch week or launch month that I wasn't really liking, right? And I was kind of vocal about it, you know. So hopefully they fixed a couple of things, like players, you know, running behind defenders when the pass was coming. They weren't doing that before. So you kind of had to rethink about what you were doing. Uh, implemented adjustments to alleviate the issues of not being able to receive passes. That was probably it. Goalkeeper, fix the issue where a goal goalkeeper may get off the ground in an unnatural manner, may carry the ball out of the 18-yard box when performing a drop ball command, and goalkeepers may sometimes be able to catch a slow, low-bouncing ball. We also have fouls, AI, and global improvements to go through, right? There isn't much here. Fix the issue where fouls are not correctly called when a collision occurs, and your opponent and you that kick the ball being off balance, right? So that was an issue. I gave away a penalty for that there last week on stream. The AI, they talk about implementing adjustments so that players will adequately dodge away from ne nearby teammates. An issue where defenders are able to keep up with the ball holder under certain conditions. This issue is triggered if the option AI control is selected for match settings in events, okay? So that was something that if you were man, if you were with Simon Games, your AI sometimes would just not be able to get near the, the, the opposition, okay? And they also talk about their catch-all in the net, right? A variety of minor adjustments have been made to each mode and to matches with the aim of improving the overall experience. And then they talk about a couple of general fixes to mitigate or eliminate bugs, right? You can go through them yourselves. They're very easily uh, read. There isn't much more there really to talk about, right? So the big thing, as I said, lads, is going to come with the next big update. I know that people were saying, oh, my league is going to be coming. I tried to tell you that it wouldn't be coming um, th this soon, um, that it's going to be later. 
but they have added the manager uh, boosters let me know what you guys think of this roundup i want to keep this video short and sweet so we are going to end it there at around the 10 minute mark i hope to see you in the live stream lads where you can get in all your questions we can go through things and discuss everything have a bit of a debate but until then don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and i'll talk to you in a bit thanks for checking out the video peace